Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. Uh, this is the Vulcan Report for Thursday, July the 29th of 2010. I just wanted to um, bring some things to your attention. I have been getting uh, a lot of questions about gold and silver and where do you think prices are headed, what's going on, why is the market moving the way it's moving, all types of questions. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. What you're looking at is a chart of gold spot prices. And uh, this is on a weekly chart. Just so you can get a, a better overall idea of what you can probably expect going forward. Alright, we're going to get into the technicals and then we're going to do something a little bit different, okay? So let's just uh, get right into the technicals real quick. Alright, uh, as of Wednesday's close, uh, gold spot closed down $23.60, down 1.99%. Prices closed lower than they opened with weak bids going into the close. Under the market summary, uh, we have a pulse scan reading of 3.80. The market pulse is positive since it's trading above its zero signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX creating a downtrend channel as of three periods ago or I could say three weeks ago. The swing VIX is not currently in a topping or bottoming range. The last signal was an overbought sell 10 periods ago or 10 weeks ago. The swing VIX has just reached its lowest value in the last 14 periods. This is bearish. Since the last swing VIX signal, Gold Spot's price has decreased 3.82% and its range from a high of $1,217.84 an ounce to a low of $1,156.92 an ounce. As for momentum, uh, currently the trend is very bullish as this market is still under heavy accumulation. The uptrend is still in that intact with prices holding above trend line support at $841.29. As for trend strength, uh, we have a strong bullish trend still intact as we're trading uh, still above the bullish Kumo cloud here. Uh, as for trend line retracements, uh, we need to close above the short term trend line retracement of $1,196.93 and now so approximately $30 from where it closed on Wednesday. In addition to that, Here's the neat part of all the questions I've been getting. Looking at our weekly price projections, well, first of all, let's, let's go back. Our intraday price projection for Thursday, we see resistance at 1186.25 and support at 1146.21. So we expect prices to pretty much trade within that range on Thursday. Now, look at the weekly price projections. All right, we have until Friday until this pretty much expires. Resistance for the week is at 1265.02 and support is at 1146.21. So we're well on our way to test that support. Now, here's an interesting thing here's our monthly price projections for this security. We show that it's in a bull market uptrend. So we have a 12 to 18 month price target based on the weekly chart of $2,112 and 47 cents okay that's the price we expect all all things remaining the same if this uptrend continues the way it is if it stays intact uh, 12 to 18 month outlook price target is 21 12 47 we expect it to hit that price okay our long-term trend line resistance is at 12 65 02 and our long-term trend line support is at 841 dollars and 29 cents now we do have our circuit breakers uh, in effect for gold okay so we do have bull market hyperparabolic circuit breakers in effect all right let's get into it based on this current trend all things remaining the same if this trend continues we will hit our bubble phase one that's right this security will hit a bubble phase Within the next 24 to 36 months, we have a price target of 
at 91 cents. If the market continues to heat up within the next 42 to 60 months, we hit bubble phase two under extreme market frenzy buying and the price target for that within the next 42 to 60 months is $3,807.37. And if the trend continues even after that, if we manage to hit bubble phase three, which is very rare, I must say. Usually we hit a bubble phase one, sometimes even a two, but hitting a three is pretty rare. It has happened in the past, but it is rare. We call that the tulip craze. If we hit that within the next 72 months, a crash will be imminent and the bull run will be over. They will come to a crashing halt. Our price target for that is $4,654.